So, so far in 2022 for Stadia, we are set to see 100 plus games. And with 100 games nowhere near released yet, we have a ton of titles to take a look at that are coming. So my goal in this video is to give you guys the games confirmed for the rest of 2022 and 2023 and what games I think we'll see going forward. Plus, we'll take a look at all the confirmed AAA games still yet to come. We have a decent size on that list. We'll also take a look at some awesome games rated for Stadia. And finally, guys, as always, we're going to take a look at the biggest rumors and biggest titles for Stadia that have a shot to come to the platform in the future. We have a heck of a list here, guys, so please give me a thumbs up, comment on your most anticipated game, also comment on which games you guys hope to see on Stadia down below. All of that really helps the algorithm showcase some awesome future Stadia games to new Stadia players. And with that, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, and right now in the game, this Doom of Tower is a heck of a challenge to take on. A strong team can certainly be the difference, but the bosses are insanely tough and insanely fun to engage with. Even certain fights like the Scarab King can really take some special strategies. But that's just what's going on in the game now. You can enjoy a variety of things in Raid, like PvP or taking on these crazy challenging things like the Doom Tower. And if you guys log in right now, there's a new event in Path of Light that has new skins for the amazing Amazing Trunda, Gilt Mallet, and a legendary champion in Delina. You can get all this by logging in and playing for seven days until July 20th. The strategy gameplay in Raid is really fun and it keeps you on your toes. And this game does have some of the best visuals for a mobile game on the market. And of course, this is the best time to get started in Raid. If you click my link in the description, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30, including a free epic champion, Vergus. 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard that lets you summon awesome champions in-game, all by simply clicking the link to get started, and if you're a new player, enter this promo code on screen and get 50 XP brews to get legendary hero Delina to max level of 50. Guys, there's tons of awesome perks you can get by following the links below. Also, scan the code on the screen as there is no better time to get into the game right now with Raid Shadow Legend. Alright, let's start this list off with confirmed games coming for the rest of 2022 and these games do have release dates or at least time frames rabbits party of legends this is a full-on multiplayer game that takes its full inspiration from mario party the game even features a full-blown story mode we have dc league of super pets the adventures of crypto and ace this is an action adventure title for the kids those who remain a psychological thriller and horror title and the winner of multiple indie game awards paw patrol grand prix a mario kart style of game this arrives this fall my Little Pony, the goat of goat of all games on this list. LOL Surprise BB Born to Travel, a game that kind of has a different spin on what looked like Overcooked to me. It's an interesting game. Star Trek Prodigy Supernova, a top-down action-adventure title. Resident Evil Reverse, the multiplayer, player versus player spin-off from the Resident Evil franchise. This game has seen multiple delays, but it should arrive sometime this year. Sky Climbers Early Access, the open-world Pokemon-like sandbox game that has you being able to build and create. Then we have Coleco, a sim-like game where you rebuild the town cat cafe and start up a cool business for the town this one is set to hit summer then sometime in the fall we have from space bringing in that awesome top-down solo or co-op shooter and this is the sequel from it came from space and ate our brains and finally the last confirmed game to hit 2022 is dreamworks dragons legends of the nine realms and in this title you guys control the dragons and the fate of all their kind now we have potentially more titles set to hit this year in 2022 and no other game stands out to me more like Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, another confirmed release for Stadia. This is a standalone story that takes place within the Pandora lore. We still don't really know a lot about this title, but it is set to hit Stadia hopefully this year if it does release across all platforms. Now, while this technically isn't confirmed, I wanted to add it Saints Row. This is a game that recently got rated, and this is potentially one of the biggest games to hit Stadia this year. It's in my personal top three for games I'm anticipating across any platform, and it really should be a really good one. So some smaller titles we might see this year battle billiards this is a game made from stadium makers as well as bushido bots we have fire commander this is a top-down firefighting experience five night at freddy's security breach very much looking forward to this game it's actually near the top of my list for stadia games that i'm really looking to dive into mighty switch force is also potentially headed to stadia sometime soon we have a worms wmd this is a fantastic destructive strategy title bringing in that old school worms action Dreader revelations this is a far shot to come but i thought i'd add it to the list it's a god of war like 
title that was confirmed for Stadia a while ago. Hopefully we get to see it at some point. Finally, my last guess is for games we'll see in 2022. I think this is a good one. Death Carnival. I would bet we would see this pretty much any day now, maybe even for Stadia Pro or who knows. Just waiting for the announcement. Then we have Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and Far Cry 4. Both of these are still headed our way here at some point. Figment 2 Creed Valley. This is a top-down puzzle game. I think we should see it pretty much any day now here in 2022. Finally, last game I'm going to add to this list today is Roller Champions from Ubisoft. I'm also expecting this title to pretty much hit any day now as well. So that kind of rounds up my 2022 list. And there's actually quite a few titles on this list that I didn't really see coming when I was researching this. But let's go ahead now and hit the major title set to hit Stadia that you guys really want to know about that are pretty much confirmed or at least rated for Stadia or trending in the direction that real, they're really going to come. We'll start this off with the Division 2 spinoff in Heartland. Now, reports came out that this is going to be a player versus player with some PvE mixed in. From the sounds of it, it really looks pretty dang good, and I really think this game has potential to be a very big hit. Then we have a Ghost Recon Frontline. This is supposed to be like the newest Battle Royale from Ubisoft, and it's supposed to come out pretty much, I think, at some point in 2022 or 2023. But a game that's already been in testing and the one that I think would come before those two I just mentioned is X Defiant. This is a game I actually got to beta test myself. It's a full player versus player. It's kind of very similar to Rainbow Six Siege. And I really thought, felt like this was a really good game. And I think it's going to be a great addition to the Stadio library. And it's also going to feature full crossplay. Then we have Allies of P. This is another game that was announced by a website to come to Stadia. And it features a unique lying system that affects the gameplay in a dynamic way. It's kind of like a darker take on the story of Pinocchio. We have now the game Instinction. This is a game that has you exploring, traversing, fighting off deadly dinosaurs and creatures. We also have the Mafia 1 and Mafia 2 Definitive Edition games. Both of these were rated for Stadia some time ago, and I know late last year we did get Mafia 3 when no one thought we were going to get that. So I think it's very possible we'll eventually see these two. Finally, a game that I think belongs on this list that was rated is Hot Wheels Unleashed. I know a lot of people would really love to see this one on Stadia, and it was rated not too long ago, so I'm really, really hoping to see this game. Then, of course, we have Skull and Bones, a major new pirate game from Ubisoft that I saw gameplay of, and it looks super promising, and it might be a pretty big hit across all platforms. All right, before we hit the last rumors of massive titles that we could see on Stadia, let's touch on the last games coming to Stadia with pretty much no release dates. Some of these are mostly confirmed confirmed or rated with a high chance of coming, at least in my opinion. And we have Jay and Silent Bob Chronic Punch, the beat-em-up game based on the awesome movie characters. We have Oddballers, a chaotic dodgeball multiplayer title. Then we have Project Z, a new survival horror game with tons of potential. Very much looking forward to this one. We have then Onira Crimes, the point-and-click voxel story-based title solving mysteries. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, this is an indie platformer. Souls Passage game. I think this is a very promising Metroidvania indie title. I really think this game can be a hit, and I'm looking forward to this game that was confirmed as a day one release when it launches across all platforms. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a list that I'm going to show here on the screen for Stadia that for games that were rated. We have the games like Borderlands, Football Manager. Some of these games I actually don't expect to see, but you might never know, which is why I wanted to showcase this list. Okay, let's hit the major rumors and speculated titles so we can end this video on a pretty interesting note. None of these are confirmed, and all these games here are complete speculation. I would even go as far as saying don't expect the games, but either way, let's go ahead and talk about them. We have the classic GTA remastered titles. This was reported by a major news website that they were headed to Stadia, but ultimately we really never heard anything. GTA Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 3 would have been awesome gets. I found it weird that they were speculated titles for Stadia. You're kind of going out of your way when you're talking about Stadia. Then we have FIFA 23. This is obviously a big one, and sadly, it does belong in this list because it was confirmed that Man 23 isn't coming to Stadia, but I think there's a very good chance we're going to see FIFA, especially since crossplay has been getting tested the last few months, and Stadia has been a part of that. Come back to this video if this game does come to Stadia. I have honestly I have a good feeling about it and absolutely don't be shocked if we do see the newest FIFA 23 since it has been a pretty popular franchise across Stadia this year. Now GTA 5 was rumored all the way at the end of 2020 as coming to Stadia and getting the next gen version. This was actually from a reputable source that covers all things GTA related. As you guys know the next gen versions are set to hit this year so if I had to guess myself the Stadia version 
version would come delayed after the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 got their ports. Either way, I've been on record saying that I do feel this is headed to Stadia, but that's just me guessing and me going off of this big rumor from this reputable website. There's no inside information. Now, also back in 2020, Capcom actually had this giant leak, and at the time it had shown that the Resident Evil franchise would make its way onto Stadia, but at that time when we got those leaks, that had not even been confirmed well, all that stuff ended up coming true. But a lesser known leak in those documents was actually news about a new Monster Hunter game headed to Stadia. It was called Monster Hunter Endless. This was supposed to come in 2022, but there's been no news of this title that has surfaced just yet. So far though, everything in those leaks for Stadia have come true. Hopefully the leak continues the same trend. I do want to mention that my guess is that this Monster Hunter game would be an online title, so just keep that in mind. Apex Legends guys this is a game that I do have hope for especially since at one point in time it was told to some reporters that there was a Stadia version but they had to be retracted from EA themselves maybe EA simply just made a mistake themselves and who knows maybe there never was an Apex version but hopefully that is somehow in the works or something that can happen finally we have some racing titles that really showed coming to Stadia from motorsport games this was in a presentation uh, that was actually out there there. It was never officially announced and the games were actually NASCAR NXT, which is the renamed NASCAR Heat, Le Mans, and then another one. So hopefully these games do make an appearance on Stadia. But the truth is, guys, that a lot of games on Stadia are still a mystery going forward. But this list should, I think, give you guys a better, clear idea of what to expect in the future. With that, if you guys want to know the best games to play on Stadia, make sure you guys click the video on the top left.